Hi Cancer, this reading is for you if you just recently broke up or had a fallout with your significant other. I'll do three spreads. In the first spread, the situation spread, we'll see whom you were dealing with, who left whom and why. In the second, the advice spread, we'll see what's recommended for you in this situation. And then spread number three, the new love spread, we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Here's the situation. Um, Cancer. We have the Seven of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups, clarified by Justice. And we also have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, this is a clear cut, very straightforward reading, Cancer. Uh, they either left you for someone, they ran away from you, or you found out that they were cheating on you, they were sneaking around, or they were just a liar. Something definitely came to the surface. Right, the Ace of Swords right there in the in the middle is either a card of clarity, so you you're going to you you did find out something about them, um, or the Ace of Swords is pretty much uh, them leaving you, deciding to cut this relationship off. The uh, Seven of Swords, the first card that came out, this is a card of a cheater. It's a card of a deception. It's a card of somebody who sneaks around, or this is a card of somebody who runs away. Right, the Ace of Wands clarifying it is all about passion. All right, so again, with the Seven of Swords, they either cheated on you or perhaps they ran away uh, from you and uh, they were, it, it was all about getting busy behind closed doors for this person. At the end of the day, that's what this person is all about. This is their priority. That's what they do, right? And uh, at the end, we have the Eight of Cups, clarified by Justice, and we also have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. The Eight of Cups, this is... Um, you guys walking to in opposite directions. You are walking away from them and the other way around. Justice could have, if you are married to this person, justice is a divorce. Or justice is like a legal separation. Or justice, this is the two of you, you know, calling it quits. The three of swords is a card of a broken heart, feeling stabbed in the back. It could have been a third party situation, you know, all that jazz. So yeah, like I said, a very straightforward reading. Um, let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. Well, Cancer, this was supposed to be the advice spread, but um, I see this person coming back to you. That's what this spread is about. Somebody is coming back to you. Right? We got the Knight of Wands, we have Temperance, we have the Seven of Cups, clarified by the Six of Pentacles, and then we also have Judgment on the bottom of the deck. You could have been, you could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, or Sagittarius or whatever their zodiac sign is. The Knight of Wands, the first guy that came out, it could be a fire sign after all, but the thing about the Knight of Wands, it could have been a, they could have been a player, yeah. That's what we saw in the first spread, right? Them sneaking around with the Ace of Wands and uh, that Seven of Swords, and the Knight of Wands could be somebody who is hot and cold in another of your life, somebody who is a playboy, playgirl, kind of a character. Temperance, the next card over could have been a Sagittarius you're dealing with. Temperance is a Sagittarius card, but perhaps Temperance is... Uh, a card of healing in this case, it's a card of them wanting to get back together with you, wanting to reconcile with you. And uh, you will have a choice to make, you'll have a hard, hard choice to make, right? We have Judgment on the bottom of the deck, which is a card of somebody coming back. And uh, the Seven of Cups, clarified by the Six of Pentacles, this is you trying to make a decision. Right? It's going to be up to you what you want to do. You know, if you ask me, then I, here's my take on things like this. If somebody really, really screwed you over in the past, chances are they will do it again. But that's just my personal experience, personal opinion. So uh, if this helps, I hope uh, you can make the correct decision. Right? But with the Seven of Cups, clarified by the Six of Pentacles, yeah, this is you struggling with this decision. Right? So it all depends on what actually happens between you and them and whether you can forgive and forget. Alright, so you make your decision based on that. Alright, so we're moving forward. We're with spread number three is new love coming towards you in the near future. Here's spread number three, uh, Cancer. This is new love coming towards you in the near future. We have the Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Lovers. We have the King of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Chariot. And uh, we also have the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Very symbolic reading, especially if this person is a Gemini. <laughs> Let me explain. Right? We've got the King of Swords and we have the, the Queen of Cups. So that's 
you, that would be the Queen of Cups, and uh, the King of Swords is the person coming in your coming into your life. But then we also have the Lovers and the Chariot. The Chariot is your major arcana card, and the, the Lovers is a major arcana card for a Gemini. So you've got a court card per person, and we also have uh, a major arcana card per person for each one of you. You see how symbolic that is? If this person is not a Gemini, that's okay too. The King of Swords could still be an air sign. Uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or um, they are embracing the energy of the King of Swords, somebody who is very straightforward, very direct, somebody very intelligent, right? Um, it could be somebody you work with, right? Uh, speaking of that, we actually start off with the Eight of Pentacles, which is a card of work, business, and finances. It's also a card of somebody who is working on something diligently, something they're trying to perfect something, or they are just showing that they're going to be dedicated to this. Right, and uh, the lovers clarify that, like I said, it could be uh, Gemini you're dealing. The lovers is also a card of a choice, okay. And at the same time, if you ask me, the lovers is the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of a twin flame connection if you believe in twin flames. And the lovers could simply be the love of your life card. Yeah. Who knew, right? You've worked with this person for the last couple of years and it turn out, turns out they're in the love of your life. <laughs> um, yeah, if this is not work-related, then again, the Eight of Pentacles, this is simply shows how serious they are going to be about you. They're prepared to invest into this. They're prepared to diligently work on this. The King of Swords is classified by the Ten of Pentacles. I specifically asked what this King of Swords wants with you, Cancer, and the Ten of Pentacles showed up. Yeah, they want to marry you. Simple as that. It's as simple as that. Right? The Ten of Pentacles is a rock solid commitment to marriage card. It's also a card of financial abundance. Right? Perhaps you do business with this person. And uh, now instead of doing business, you're going to be creating a family as well. Right? And uh, the Ace of Pentacles, right next to the King of Swords. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal. You know, it really does. That's their intention. To get serious with you as quickly as possible like at this point. Right? The Ace of Pentacles, to me personally, is, ace, is the Ace of All Aces. I don't mean to belittle the other Aces, but the Ace of Pentacles is like a package. It's like a bundle. All Aces combined into one, and that's why this Ace um, often comes through as a proposal. But this Ace always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, ready to get serious. The Chariot clarifying the Ace of Pentacles, like I said, that's your major arcana card. Okay, at the same time, as some of you may already know, the same card could be interpreted multiple ways, even in the same spread, right? And uh, the chair is a card of victory, success, it's a card of moving forward, perhaps the two of you will be moving in together, or you may even relocate when you move in together, and by relocate, I mean you could relocate into a neighbor, another neighborhood, or another city, or another state, another country, but it is a card of moving forward and not looking back, right? Victoria is kind of a a progression of this situation. So yeah, look at this. This looks just rock solid, Cancer. It really does. We've got mostly pentacles on the table. And we've got this King of Swords, who could turn out to be the lover of your life. We got you here twice as well. So yeah, you've got everything going for you with this person. Alright, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Cancer, for this reading for uh, this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Cancer, have an amazing February.